Good day everyone, good day viewers of Android Studio. It has been so much long. It has been uh, almost a year, several months that I have uploaded, last uploaded a single video. And today I'm not gonna do a tutorial on uh, coding itself, but I just wanna do a recommendation. Uh, for I have here a project I have a project uh, particularly on uh, this project requires me to uh, have a uh, QR uh, scanner and I don't know if I have to show the image of the uh, particular project because uh, I think it's uh, somewhat I, I have a non-disclosure agreement. Maybe I could hide first. Uh, I just showed you the specific functionality uh, on the QR scanning. Okay. So I'm gonna log in into the uh, application. Actually, uh, I need uh, two particular functionality. Uh, uh, there uh, which is QR and barcode scanning which is I, I use this video to guide me in how to do it uh, my Vimeo is not working right now so maybe I, I really can't show the the application oh no I think it it worked already so the, the two functionality that I need to be able to do is the QR and barcode scanning and I've tried a lot of tutorial here at uh, YouTube tried a lot of uh, guides here but the only one that work is this video here from e.a.y team or e.a.y team uh, this particular channel only has 915 subscribers but I think they deserve to have more I think I forgot to subscribe from them as a way of saying thanks but I think I do yeah so this is the only one that worked for me and let, let's let's play this this even does not have a discussion from a certain uh author of the code it, it just demonstrates the code and a background music is playing but actually uh, it is better than every application every tutorial that i have watched I patiently watch this tutorial even if no one is speaking and explaining things but yeah uh, it actually worked yeah like this it, it worked like this and maybe I could show you just a proof that it worked uh, actually it uses a certain github dependency here maybe maybe you could uh, look up this uh, library at github I think if I remember it right this is at github and as shown here in the video you should put this somewhere maybe on the implementation uh, somewhere in the project gradle and uh, I just want to show you that this actually worked I'm gonna load some QR here QR image from uh, Google so and for me to demonstrate that it's actually working okay so i'm gonna get my vimeo uh so my vimeo is is here okay this is my uh, uh application in my phone connected to my computer and i'm gonna do some scanning okay so the scan is working so we can scan again okay okay so as you see uh, uh, the scanning works so I'm gonna finish scanning and hide the application again <clears throat> okay so this QR just look for 
just type at uh, YouTube this this one QR and barcode scanner with Android Studio and you should uh, if you see the one with the EAY team and you should that should be the one you should be using it's very easy to implement uh, the others are uh, somewhat deprecated uh, their code is deprecated so don't use them and another thing I need to use some form of login because the application would require users to be uh, stored online their data should be stored online so uh, and other functionalities of the application should also be uh, stored online and as you can see uh, this tutorial on login and sign up in Android uh, M uh, Login and sign up in Android with MySQL is also very helpful. Uh, this video is uh, done by Codes Easy, and they have more than 5,000 subscribers. And they put everything in the description, the dependencies that you would need to use. So uh, you have the GitHub dependency for the advanced HTTP URL connection. So they have it there. Uh, you're gonna need that and the login and sign up code uh, PHP code is also at GitHub and you can just uh, copy that or uh, modify that according to your own implementation but it's fairly comprehensive and you could I j all I did is just copy the code into my remote server and tweak some server settings some database settings and it worked and then uh, they they even have the fonts and XML files here so they have all the resources that you need for this application to work your login and sign up application in Android uh, with the remote uh, PHP server code for your MySQL database so I suggest uh, this one uh, for the author really teaches MySQL so he speaks code does. explaining his you can code just so this is better than the other video although both of them work you just have to be patient in understanding how it is done and customize it according to your own need so thank you for uh, uh, watching my video oh wait wait uh, I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna show you me uh, logging in into the application I think I have to uh, reload my code. Maybe not. Uh, maybe not. I'm gonna not gonna show you because uh, uh, it would show the logo of the of the app that I'm, that I'm doing, and maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I should be violating some non-disclosure agreement with that. So you should also consider showing applications done, showing them online, maybe. Uh, you would reveal the author or your client. Uh, you should not reveal your client, especially if you have non-disclosure agreement with your client. So thank you for watching this video again. I hope to be able to uh, upload more videos in the future and help other programmers, uh, maybe not, not just in explaining code, uh, like what I'm doing here, I'm not explaining any code here. I'm just providing you a tip uh, in regarding what uh, tutorials that I've seen at YouTube that work. Because uh, it's better that you do not waste your time on tutorials that are already uh, deprecated or old. Uh, not not really deprecated, but tutorials are cannot be deprecated because they just be just. But they're showing code that are already deprecated or would not work anymore especially with the updates continuing updates with the android operating system okay so uh that being said uh thank you for watching this video again and see you on my next video